Hi, welcome to Putney. My name is David Miles. I'm the uh, Tadway uh, PM project manager for uh, Putney Bankman for short. So here at Putney, as you can see, we are actually in the river. So the majority of the site is in fact in the foreshore. But obviously that was tidal working and we needed to be able to work all throughout the day. So what we had to do is pile over 500 temporary sheet piles into the ground, creating a cofferdam around this outside area and backfilled it with over 16,000 tons, thereby extending the, uh, the land on the Putney area so that we could create the site. The majority of this will in fact disappear. We have our permanent sheet piles around the valve chamber and the top of them. Obviously that will stay. The rest will all be removed when we uh, get the site back to London. So as you can see in the background, you see our drop shaft, which is actually slowing, slowly beginning to be uh, lowered into the ground. And through a series of steel fixings, we build up for the concrete, then excavate in the bottom of the shaft and slowly lower the shaft into position. And the it will go down when it is finished with the base plug to 36 meters, a 6 meter diameter. You can also see in front of it is our valve chamber. Well, that has already been lowered into the ground, a uh, permanent structure. Now we just have one last pour on the top walls that will eventually hold the roof. So here we have the drop shaft, which is actually sinking. You can't quite see it, but it is moving uh, at millimeters a minute right now. So we're inside the valve chamber now. You just had a, a shot of the uh, drop shaft just to the rest of us. Right here is where the high level connection tunnel is going to essentially begin its journey to Putney Bridge and the CSO. So here we have Putney Bridge. This is uh, arch number five, which we've closed for uh, the duration of our works here. We're stripping the traffic that could come through, marine traffic as well as uh, rowers. And also we have a pontoon barrier that does restrict uh, anyone that wants to walk on the foreshore during low tide from getting into our site. Underneath the bridge, we have a temporary flume, which is where our CSO is currently. And that, of course, spills out into the river at uh, low tide when the flat valves are closed. The high level connection tunnel is going to come along through the side under here, go past the uh, CSO, and then come out of the uh, camp shed. Later, we will connect into that tunnel and all the sewers that connect through the under the bridge. So here we are at our um, Got our barge, our thousand ton barge that we've been um, excavating out of our shaft into. It's on a barge bed that we built specifically for here at Putney. We just have to make sure we're aware of our tide levels because if the tide gets a bit too high, then we can't get the barge under the bridge. Just wanted to show you a little bit about uh, some of the branding that we've got in place here at, at uh, Putney. We've got the Ahoy scheme that is being rolled out across Tideway. We got a bit of a jump on it with the boat race because we put some banners up as a good opportunity to show what we're all about on international television.